Dickie Bartolo, Mads made us try to end the Giz Wiz, another one take theater here on Twitch, still at the 3D printer show. You know the old thing about razor blades? They sell you a very cheap razor, and then the blades are $9,000 a blade. Well, this is kind of a version of that. It's where the printer sounds expensive, but it turns out not to be expensive because it uses what for its material? Paper. It's a plain paper-based 3D printer. This is really amazing. You throw it like you throw in a ream of paper? That's right. You could throw in up to three reams of paper, which would give you a Z height of up to 5.9 inches. Can we walk over here and see this guy running? Yeah, so what it's a... Uh, yeah, what's happening, I'll explain what's happening right now, is if, if you have a, a shot there of the piece that's coming in contact with the surface of the paper, that's a tungsten carbine cutting tip, and uh, we are etching or cutting the geometry for that layer, and uh, once it's done cutting the geometry for that layer, then we're going to start to lay down the glue uh, for that same layer as well. Once we lay down the glue for that layer, then we'll pull in the next page, and the entire platform will come up against the top plate, and on the top plate, we heat that to 80 degrees Celsius, and that's what actually laminates the layers together. We use one ton of pressure uh, of pressing up onto that plate to laminate it layer to layer. Uh, you mean the, the sheets are being fed into that one page at a time? That's correct, that's correct. And uh, we're, as I said, we're still cutting right now, but once uh, we're finished with the cutting, uh, actually it just started the gluing. Uh, so on the right side of the head, you'll see that there's a glue wheel, and that glue wheel is coming in contact with the paper. And uh, what we're doing is we're laying down the glue in two different densities. We're laying down a very high density for the area where we're creating that geometry, or the part, and then we're also laying down a very low density of glue outside of that area, just enough to keep the page tacked together during the fabrication or the build process. But once the build process is completed, that low density of glue allows us to break away uh, the unwanted areas of the paper. Uh, but then it's a shooting, those were all made uh, out of paper? That's correct. All of the parts you see there were all made out of paper. Now, we also do color. As you see on some of the parts, there's color. The way that we apply the color is uh, we use a 2D printer. We pre-print the outline for each layer on a, a high-resolution uh, 2D printer. And, uh, and then once we're, you know, those pages are ready, we load them onto the feed tray of the 3D part of the process, and we let it do the cutting and the gluing. Uh, so now, the, tell us the price of the machine. It doesn't sound that expensive. No, it's, uh, it's $53,000 rough. All you need to buy is paper. Just paper. Amazing. Uh, and tell us your website. The website, uh, we have two websites. It's uh, www.sculptgraphics.com, and you'll see our name up there. It's spelled a little unconventionally, or uh, mcoretechnologies.com as well. I'm going to take my high school diploma, if I had one, and turn it into something unique. Dickie Bartolo, Mads Madis, try to end the Gizwiz with another one-take theater here at Twit. Bye. Thank you.